Now it is time to connect the Ingecon Sun EMS board and all its components to the inverter. The Ingecon Sun EMS board compresses several things. One is the actual board, this one here, which is the energy manager for the system. Then there's an antenna. The antenna has a connector on one end that needs, connect, needs to be connected to this small connector over, the, over here, like this. And then we have these two elements. This is actually a reset button. So this button needs to be actually connected at the bottom of the inverter. And this, when you click it, you will reset the, the board itself. And it's got one connector on one end. There's also, this is the extension cable. So basically what you have to do is to plug this over here. And then the other end needs to be connected to the card over here. So this whole thing needs now to be connected within the inverter. The Ingecon EMS board is actually plugged to these connectors here. And in this video I'm showing how to connect the Wi-Fi communication to the board, right? There's also an Ethernet connection here, an Ethernet connector that you, know, you can use to wire the board to your router. But in this case, I will be using the Wi-Fi communication, so I have to connect these two elements. One antenna and one reset button with the extension cable. All right, I'm gonna start with the antenna first. The antenna, as I said before, is actually plugged to this connector here. And now I'm going to take the antenna through this cable gland at the bottom, all right? So when it's in that position, I tighten the cable gland and the antenna is now properly plugged. The next element I have to connect is this reset button, okay? How do I do it? Well, first I'm going to proceed to open the extension cable, remove this nut and then the next thing i'm going to do is to remove this cable gland okay the one that i have over here i take it off as you can see and what i do is i put the reset button through this hole and then i insert the nut back again into the previous position all right so now the reset button is actually in the right position, so by pressing it underneath, then you will reset the Ingecon Sun EMS board. Now, I connect the extension cable, and then the, the other end of that cable is actually plugged to the, to the Ingecon EMS board over there. The last cable I have to connect before closing the inverter, placing the cover on top, is this communications cable that goes from the RS485 connector at the Inkeconsign EMS board to the external power meter that we are going to install over here. This external power meter has power connections and communications connections over here. I'm going to start connecting the cable on this side, then I will cover the inverter and then I will show you how to make the connections of the external power meter. I'm going to take one end of the cable and I'm going to pass it through this cable gland that I have over here. All right. Now carefully I have to take the cables, grab the cables and plug them in this connector here. All right. The RS485 connector for communications between the external power meter and the Ingecon Sun EMS board has four positions. In this video, we're going to use three of them. The first one is for the B positive signal. The second one is for the A negative signal. And the fourth position is for ground. Now I'm going to proceed to make all those connections. And so I'm going to follow the, the sequence. In the first position, I'm going to connect the brown cable.
in the second position I'm gonna connect the gray cable and in the last position, in the fourth position, I'm gonna connect the white cable. I will follow the same sequence in the external power meter. Before I connect this end of the communications cable to the external power meter, what I'm going to do is to close the inverter. To do so, remember that the first thing we have to do is to plug the display and then place the cover in the right position. There are four screws that I have to tighten. Now I'm going to proceed to connect the external power meter. I will start connecting all the communications and then I will connect the power cables. In order to connect the communications, this power meter has this connector here, this area here, where you have to plug your cables, your communication cables. I'm going to show you uh, this connector, you see? There are three positions that I have to wire. Position 41, this one here which is the one that I'm going to use for the A negative signal. That means that I have to insert the gray cable. In 42, this one here, I have to connect the brown cable, all right? The B positive signal. And in the number 43, I have to wire the white cable for ground. Apart from all those positions, I also have to install this small resistance that you see over here. This is a 120 ohm resistance that I have to connect between position 41 and position 42, all right? So later on, what I have to do is to connect them like this, all right, between those two positions, and then I screw the element through here, okay, through this area here. So I'm gonna proceed to do it and then afterwards I will connect all the power cables I have already wired the communications to the external power meter. So now what I'm going to do is to place it over this rail and then I start making the connections to the electrical part of it. Uh, basically, let me explain to you a little bit about this switchboard that I have over here. Here what we have is two protections, two general protections, then one RCD and the rest of circuits. So basically the power comes from the grid, it enters this first protection, then it goes to the second protection. And from the bottom of this first pro second protection, sorry, it goes to the top of the RCD. And then through the bottom of the RCD, we send the power to the rest of circuits uh, to feed the loads. So what, what I'm going to do is actually to make the connections underneath the RCD. I will disconnect these two cables here and using these additional three small pieces of cables I will make all the connections. How do connections go into the external power meter? Well, in position 11 what I have to do is to wire the neutral, the neutral from the grid. So there will be one bridge between here and the RCD. All right? In the second position, in position number one actually, what I have to uh, plug or what I have to wire is the phase input. So we'll take the phase from the grid and we'll insert it over here. There will be also a bridge between position number one and number four. And then 
that phase that enters the power meter through here will, will be extracted through the bottom and then sent to the rest of circuits. We have already finished wiring the whole system, the inverter and the components within the switchboard. So now it's time to start with the configuration. To do so, I will start with the, with the inverter through the display. I will configure several parameters that I need to. However, before, before doing that, what I'm going to do is to actually close the protections for all the circuits within my property to make sure that the loads get powered. 